Welcome to the Sky Podcast. Design is one thing, but execution is a whole different thing. How did you get your name out there? And master both. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it didn't happen, of course, overnight. It, it mm-hmm. grew um, organically. Uh, I think the first... I went to the, the shows. I went to all the furniture shows. And uh, and um, I got people... You know, on, on the Philippines, you have to remember that the, the furniture industry, or any industry almost for that matter, uh, we don't really have brands, right? So when mm-hmm. we make furniture, it goes under different names abroad. Yeah, like a van, you know, like a pottery barn or whatever, crate and barrel would buy here, and mm-hmm. then they would right. label it under their own name. Right? Sometimes they give their designs, and that that's been happening for many years. So when I started, when I made my own designs, I didn't want any of that anymore. Mm-hmm. Right? So I said, I want to label this as Philippines. You have to use my name. You have to use my name, right? <laughs> and it was it was very difficult in the beginning because the companies would not want want it. They said no. No, so I said, okay, then don't don't buy it, right? I'm not mm. selling to you. Wow. So for about two years, actually, the factory floors were empty mm. wow. because wow. no one wanted to buy. It. All the big stores from Bloomingdale's to all those, right? They 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 didn't buy anymore from me because Panan, mm. who's this this guy? You know, he's crazy, <laughs> right? And even my mother, <laughs> even my mother was really saying, what what are you doing? You know? I said, uh-huh. no. yeah. I said, no, I'm gonna make a brand. I'm gonna create my own name and wow, back then so brave of you. yeah back then even my fellow filipino companies you know they were not uh they were looking at me and like huh what you know it's crazy <laughs> right yeah, uh, yeah that's true and then at that doing time, something very different yeah and that time there was no china but i already saw i said you know when china comes up all those companies are going to china they're going to vietnam they're going to bring all their designs wherever it's cheaper and you mm. don't have an identity you don't have a name yeah right and so yeah. true enough it happened, right? So yeah. many companies closed down. But the furniture industry from a high of more than 300 companies, I think now there's only maybe about 30, maybe, yeah. maybe 30 companies left. Yeah, been a oh, yeah. There was a time in Cebu, like everybody was into the furniture business. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It was booming. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, it was. And so, um, yeah, so that's the story. I, I made my own brand and then I started um, slowly... And then I got all the companies who were buying, who were used to buying European furniture, um, you know, who were really designer, who were used mm. to buying designer furniture, you know, come now to buy from me. And, you know, they were, they were first timers, first time buyers from the Philippine, of Filipino products. Yeah. Yeah. And so now, yeah. of course, it's different. Now I have a name, I have a brand. Now, now people mm. come and they said, can we have your brand in our store? Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> But it was very, it was really a, a struggle. Yeah, I mean, yeah. two years to have. Yeah. You that's, were never pressured to like, yeah. maybe I am being crazy. <laughs> or parang, baka mali yung naisip ko, yeah. di ba? Oh, oh, yeah. Of course, I, I, I had doubts. I had a lot of doubts. I mean, this is, you know, this is the right path. This is the right way. Right. Mm. Right. Yeah, because it's really difficult for an Asian designer to succeed, to succeed out yeah. there in the world, right? But, you know, now, um, even our counterparts in Thailand, in Indonesia, you know, they're, they're studying my, my story of how I did uh, it, actually. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I think you inspired a lot of young designers. Not just in the Philippines. Yeah, to make their own but name. But in Asia, yeah. Yes, yes. To have an identity. Finally, yeah. there's a, an identity, right? And even when yeah. you see, uh, I think when you see all the furniture that's out there in Manga Resorts with that very open look, it's like common. Yeah. It's yeah. become now... Parang every resort you go, it's yes. like become part of the design language. And not only in the uh-huh. Philippines, but all over the world. Kind of like uh-huh. all over Asia, di ba? When it's woven furniture, it used to be all closed, remember? You know, all the you know, furniture we're weaving was all closed. And then be- yes. they became now open. You see it everywhere. No? Parang that, that, that became tama. part of the design language. Yeah. yeah. The vocabulary. We were so. in um, Palawan yesterday. And the, mm. the, the lobby was Kenneth Kabunpoe. Like croissant chair, me get it. The lobby of what hotel? Uh, Marie Meg Meg. Oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Ang ganda, like, uh, even I know the names. <laughs> like, the croissant chair. Yeah, the... Yeah. <laughs> even if yeah. we don't yeah. have it, you know it. Because of the it. inspiration. Because we want it. We don't have any space here in the house. But... Yeah. You have a I very... Uh, the... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Chris. I, I was saying that I remember the first time I heard of Kenneth. I think I was a, a baby pa at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was, a, oh, this Filipino designer, local designer from Cebu. Gamit ni Brad Pitt yung furniture remember oh, lang. Oh yeah. That was the parang superstar moment. In the That's... world without internet pa. Yeah. Like parang oh, yeah. oh there was there's this designer in bahay ni Kenneth Kobunpe or yung Ocean's 12 ba yun? Yeah, 13. Was, yeah. 13. Oh, Ocean's yes, 13, yes. yeah. 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 Uh-huh. How did that happen, Lay? Ocean's 13, uh they came, Warner Brothers came mm-hmm. and then uh they bought like what one or two pieces to put on the set. No? And yeah. then they said, hey, can we? Can you send a catalog? We'd like to see the others. And so we sent the catalog. Uh, and then parang, they started to buy almost everything. You know, from wow. They decided to furnish. And they said, we've never done this before because usually we mix and match. Yeah. yeah. And, nice. and, uh, and interestingly enough, after the show, when the show was over, they ordered more, you know, and I think it went to the producers' wow. homes. And- <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's wow. so cool. Yeah. Oh. What an honor, no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. to be recognized for your design and then, nagustuhan nila sobra that, okay, I want this for myself. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. What was the big break na, makaingon ka na, okay, this, I've made it, or yeah. like, this is, looking back, like, this is where everything started to turn around. Right. I think it's it's it is very difficult huh, to really. I've been asked that a lot of times, and I've been trying to track. I, th- I don't think there was one moment <laughs> that like, it's. I say that's the defining moment. No? Mm-hmm. Um, it's been always been a steady rise. There was no like one. Um, n- nothing really happened now. It's, just, it's been always a steady and slow na, uh, rise. No? Of course, in the Philippines, I think it's the Brad Pitt. Phenomenon. Yeah. I said before that. <laughs> Basta artista. <laughs> Basta artista, di ba? Parang you have to make it in Hollywood or you have to make it abroad. I think that's yeah. that's the thing. You have to make it abroad in order to really make it here. In yeah. order to be credible. Actually, we were talking to Chito Miranda yeah. of uh, Parokya ni Edgar. Oh, oh, yeah. So he was saying that um, there are a lot of good bands in Cebu. Yes. But they have to make it in Manila first. Before the Cebuanos will recognize them. Oh, oh it's similar enough phenomenon. Yeah. Yes, that is right. Cultural that's right. Thing, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Uh-uh. Yeah. But yeah. I would say, ang ganda ng, because you're able to have your own name, but ne- you never left the Filipino-inspired design, which is really, yes. really good. Yes, yes, uh, yes. I would say that is why it's so very relatable to us Filipinos. Even like, yung airport na you're doing yes. uh, you did like the Mactan airport yeah. was okay this is a Filipino design but it's not the typical that we see all the time it's actually very very it's not like modern. bahay kubo level yeah it's like nakaka proud levels like turning something so traditional and so overused and yes. making it so modern you know and yeah. something different but you, 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 makikita mo pa rin na, okay, this is still very Filipino. Yeah. yeah. If you guys want to hear the full episode, you can check us out on Spotify. Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Spotify. It's free, guys. It's free. See you there. Hi, podcast. Hi, podcast. <laughs>